Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about the Google Vision Blocks and how you can use the Google Vision Blocks to find objects and text in the real world. Let's go ahead and get started by clicking on Create Experience. Now I'm just going to style my experience really quick. I'll look for a character like glasses, see what pops up, and the one at the bottom looks the best, so let's go with that one. In the top, we'll type Google Vision. And now let's explore the Google Vision blocks by going into the Add New menu. So click on Add New, and then click into the Google Vision section. And you can see that there are four blocks here that you can use. There's Is Object, Is Person, Is Happy, and Is Text. Let's talk about Is Object for a second. The Is Object block is going to search for objects in the real world and then return whether or not it found that object. This becomes less accurate the more specific you get but you can always check for the results of whatever image you took by uploading the image to the Google Cloud Vision API. So you just go here, you can upload a file here, and then it will show you the results. That top result is the one you're gonna to wanna to use in order to find the specific item that you're looking for. Back into our storyboard, let's take a look at is person. So is person is going to see if there's a human present in the photo that you took. So if there's at least one person, it will count it as a success and go on the successful path. Is happy will check for a smile in the photo, and then is text is going to look for a specific printed text that you can specify. Now what we're gonna be doing is building a smile detector just to show you how the blocks work. So we'll click on is happy. Here we go. Now in order to pass information into this block, we're going to have to take a photo first. So to do that, we'll add a camera scene. There we go. Now let me move is happy next to the camera scene. We'll add a button that says, try the smile detector. And we'll link that to the camera scene. Then we'll link the camera scene to the is happy block. Now for the is object block and the is text block, you'll have something that you'll want to specify right above these two transitions. But for is happy, it's just looking for a smile and it has two branching paths, one for person is happy and one for is not happy. So finds a smile, does not find a smile. Because of those two branching paths, let's add two character scenes, one and two. I'll add this one below here and I'll move this one to the right. Now let's link up the transitions. I'll click on the is happy block, and then if the person is happy, they'll go to this one that says, that is a really nice smile. We'll add a little smiley face. For the bottom one, we'll say something like, that ain't no smile. Now let's link is not happy to the no smile found and we will have buttons to go back to main menu back to main menu and we'll link them up back to our main menu there we go and now we have a fully functioning smile detector here we're using the is happy block which runs Google Vision API to detect a smile. Let me just add another button to end the experience, and we'll have the transition to end the experience. Now I'll publish this experience. We'll call this Tutorial Google Vision, and I will publish the experience. Zoom in so that you can scan this code on your end, check it out, see if the smile detector worked, and then I recommend you try out the other Google Vision blocks. Keep in mind that the Google Vision blocks will continue to improve as the Google Vision API improves. So sometimes you might not find the object you're looking for. Sometimes it might not detect a smile, but that's okay because this is a new budding technology and it's very exciting to be a part of their process. I hope you learned a lot about how you can use Google Vision blocks in your experiences and we will see you next time.